But we do have some safety information for you regarding trick-or-treating right now. And we have uh, Brad Harris with EMS, Baton Rouge EMS, joining us this morning. Good morning to you. Hey, good morning. Thanks Always for good to me. have you here in the studio, of course. So trick-or-treating, Halloween, it's all happening tomorrow. Everyone loves to get out with the kids, with their puppies, maybe even adults getting out and going door-to-door yeah. uh, -door and uh, heading out for trick-or-treating. What's the most important piece of information that you guys really want folks to know? Well, like you just said, there's gonna be a lot of pedestrians on the roadway, um, animals even, uh, and some neighborhoods don't have sidewalks. So drivers need to be aware that there's gonna be a lot more pedestrian traffic on the road. Uh, they need to be cognizant of that. They need to make sure they look both ways at intersections. If you do have to pass a group of people on the roadway, make sure you give them enough space. Um, and then also too, for the trick-or-treaters, you know, wanna make sure that you have a costume that you're not gonna trip over. Um, it's not dragging on the ground. It needs to be reflective. A lot of the costumes are, are dark colored or black. Um, an easy thing that you can do is just, you know, carry a glow stick, carry a flashlight, um, put some reflective, you know, tape on the costume. Uh, they have glow in the dark face paint that you could put. There's plenty of ways to, to stay visible, um, even if you do have a dark colored costume. So. Absolutely, in keeping with costumes, it's not even just about the reflective costumes that you want to make sure that you can be seen, but even with when you're talking about your face and when you're talking about masks, isn't yes. that some safety, uh, safety issues there too? Absolutely, if you have the option of either using face paint or a mask, you want to go with the face paint. Um, you don't want a mask that's going to fall or it's going to obstruct your view, um, especially if you have a little child that's walking and the mask might slip down and you know they can't see where they're walking. Um, another thing I would say to the trick-or-treaters is if you do have a sidewalk, use it. Don't cross through people's yards. You don't know what, you know, you might step in a hole, you'll trip over something. Um, you just want to, you know, use those egresses if you can. Typically, how busy are you guys on Halloween? I would assume that there are uh, more than average yeah. 911 calls made on Halloween night. Yeah, usually uh, after the festivities are over, um, that evening you have some impaired drivers, you'll have your um, intoxicated people, things like that. Uh, Halloween parties, you know, we don't necessarily, um, run that many calls on children during during trick-or-treat time you might have the trip and fall here or there um, but usually it's afterwards that evening is usually pretty busy and so that's another warning that you want to have for uh, folks this morning is just yep. of course stay off the roads if yep. you're going to go out and have a good time for halloween uh, obviously it's on a thursday in the middle of the week but if the folks go out definitely have a designated driver or find some alternate ways to get home absolutely 100 percent. okay and again uh we have more information from again not only baton rouge ems but uh chief murphy paul and mayor sharon weston broom on a safe trick-or-treating around the capital city thank you for being here this morning appreciate so it much. happy halloween to you a day early we're going to take a quick break. We'll get a check of your forecast and a look at traffic coming up next. Thank you.